Hi, welcome. It's Thursday and Tech. And now today is going to be a very sort of practical DIY kind of thing. We'll have this once a month uh, where we get to uh, help you familiarize yourself with uh, tech at home from your smart TV to your smartphone. Is there a phone that is not smart? Oh, yes, there are some phones that might not be smart and all of that. And all around. And of course, the best person in our, I don't know. I'm trying to see. It's about the silver lining for this situation. The best person is Bazido because he's had a very horrid time with his phone <laughs> up until this what morning. What silver lining could you possibly <laughs> want to talk about when it comes to phones and Mazino? So that for the next time. My history is the worst. We have a target. I'm not, see, I know what I am. I'm your crash <laughs> test dummy. That's what I am. Yes, and it is true, and I accept no. it. I, I have a very bad history of phones. Six phones in two years. Six phones in two years. So that's it. That's it, Nayana. Three phones one year. You're talking yeah. about four months to a phone. Uh, currently, three three phones so far this year. So let's we're, see. We're only halfway through the year. Through the year. Yeah. Now, is it possible that Mazino mm -hmm. has not learned something, or there's something he's doing that is causing all of this? Is there any common thread through all that has happened with these phones? So I will say that basically most of them have been based on my habits. Maybe my habits have actually been the way I use phones are perhaps maybe not correct. But when it comes to security and penetration, I think I'm, I'm pretty good uh, on mm. that ground. I haven't had a situation where my security has been broken into or um, I have been hacked, uh, whether social, socially on social media or the phone itself. So I, I think I'm doing pretty good in that regard. Mm. But regarding habit, where I keep them, how I keep them, how I handle them, or manhandle them, I think that's where I have a problem. Problem. Right? Um, where I charge them, there's something about you using different sources for charging and how it affects your phones. Uh, perhaps maybe that's where I get it all wrong, mm, mm, I'm guessing. Mm. So that's one tip for you there. Watch out your handling of phones, where you charge, how you charge. Do not use your phone, if possible. Try not to use your phone while it is charging. I mean, this one, almost all of us break it. I still do. I mean, yes, I was still because, hey, you wait until it's going so low. But be careful. Do not, be very careful. Do not, do not use your phone and all of that. Then, so now this has to be an issue maybe with battery. Yeah. Let me teach you one tip for battery safety. Okay. Now, for most Android phones, you get this. They tell you that don't charge your phone until it's very full. Now, recently, batteries have evolved. Until it's very low or very full? No, until, uh, don't charge your phone to full capacity, okay. to 100%. Okay. Why? Because it's almost like every battery has a life cycle. Okay. So say you do, so it might be the life cycle of the battery is like 100 full charges. Oh. You understand? Okay. Now when you hit the full charge, steady, mm -hmm. steady, even if you don't drain it, mm -hmm. for the fact that you hit it, it's counting for the life cycle oh, of that really? battery. So what happens is that newer phones have something called, um, let, me, let, me, let me get there with my phone. When you go to your settings, have something called your battery protection. Okay. And then with the battery protection, it, what happens is that it tells you that, look, charge it up until it, 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 it's, it has above 85%. Mm -hmm. So it gets up to 85% and it pauses the charge. So what happens is that it's not like it will not run down, but you will not, it would last for maybe twice longer than the time it would last if you had always been feeling your charge. I heard saying, but I thought it was just the thing that people say, like an urban phone legend. Mm. I also hear that fast charging, like most phones prov provide that option, mm. fast charging might not be the best for your phone battery. It, is, it might not be. like So normally for a Samsung, you might go to device care. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing is this. After optimizing your phone, now when you optimize your phone, what happens is that when you open an app, it has to run. There are things behind that it runs, the yeah. cache and the data and all of that. When you leave too many apps open, all of that, you know, they clog and they affect the battery usage also. Okay. So all of this, are always do as much as possible to optimize your phone. Like you can see, I'm using an Android. Uh, I focus more on Android. If Mazino decides to do an iOS, we're switching. maybe next step. We're, we're moving. Move. You're really moving. We're, we're yeah? packing up and we're yeah, going. So that's it. Always get to optimize. Now, what happens is that your phone comes with uh, a way that you can optimize it by itself. So look, it's now optimized. Now what happens? You see something there, no high battery usage yeah. detected. So your phone comes with a care, but then you have to activate it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen just by itself. Stop background so always, operations. Yes, exactly. All of that. Always optimize your phone as much as possible. It, it now happens with, Snap TV, uh, with smart TVs and Android TVs. And you find out that your TVs now, they now load, the, the older your TV gets, mm -hmm. they now load longer. Yeah. Yeah. So you find that you've been TV for two months and it's 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 booting process is now like same with phones. The same exactly. So that's the point. So much that so is on the optimize cash. your phone. Always go go now for for Android. You have a device care. You understand. Always get to optimize your phone. It will help your battery. It will save your phone. It will make your phone faster. That is one hack. Always optimize your phone. If you're having issues with phone crashing and your phone slowing down and all of that, learn 
to always optimize your phone, okay? So that's one, that's one. And now you can see now, before it was, it was good, now it's great. Now it's great, as you can see there, yeah? Then let me do something for you on social media. Uh, my page is a clean page, so yeah. No. I trust page. <laughs> Just like Mazino. Mazino, we trust in our pages, right? Yes, we do, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, we do. Okay, so uh, I found out something. I, I noticed that I started following some people just randomly. Okay. I looked and I started seeing some people up on my stories. Mm -hmm. You understand? It was just coming up and all of that. So, that's dance fitness, it's commercial. <laughs> all right, don't go anywhere. I don't know if my sister's excited. We'll just take a short commercial break. We will be right back with the rest of our phone security this morning. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Now, of course, I'm here with Mazino, who was excited. I don't know what he saw. About but... Kate Hensher's page. <laughs> Only okay. Kate Hensher. So we've done something for battery. Let's do something for social media. Okay. Now, I found out that I was following some accounts. There's sometimes when some stuff happens on your account and then you don't know who did this, who liked this picture, who followed this person. Not your girlfriend. Uh, no, 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 okay. no. no, no. no. Check it. So now this is what happens. There are times when you log in to your Instagram on a system. Uh -huh. And then you left, you closed the browser. Yeah. Maybe you even logged out, but sometimes some systems, they save your login info. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do it intentionally, sometimes you don't know, and then you click for it to save. So when you go, someone else comes in, wants to enter, for instance, Instagram, and your login info is already saved. Yeah. It's just a click. If you don't activate two-factor authentication, which I will do some other time, the person can still just have access to it. Mm. Now, this is what you do. At every point in time, maybe every week, weekends and all of that, do a cleanup. Go on social media to ensure that all places where your accounts are logged in, you, you log, log out. out. This yeah. is what you do. So, for instance, you go to your Instagram profile. You get to the hamburger icon here, top, where you get your settings. After you get your profile, so that's it. The and then you go to settings. And then you go to settings, you go to security. And then inside, you see something there called login activity. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what happens. When I found out I was following people, I found out that my whole login, I had like eight. Wow. My phone so was eight open, different devices eight or different computers devices. That you had Some I had logged in. I don't know where it was. Some of them I knew. One was in Pakistan. Wow. I am telling you. I kid you not. This guy, whoever the person was, followed like what thirty people. Was just following, following. And I just, I was just following. And then I was unfollowing them. And the person was just following. I just unfollowed. And then I just went. Pa pa pa. I came here, and I saw over eight um, systems here where it was open. Once you come here now, I had unfollowed all of them. So the only one active is this, this current one, device. this current device. Now, this is what happened. There are times when this current device might show more than one notification. It still means that it's on another system, but they might be doing it in such a way that it seems as though it is your phone accessing it. So ensure you close everything. Okay. Save the one that you are using now. So you come here and log out. So if I do this, I'll log out of my own phone because this is the only one left. Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. Active now. It shows this, yeah, the brand, this phone. That is it. So a lot of times, check your phone. You might see this very full. Mm -hmm. Log out of every single place because every I single one, somebody out there might just be using it to do stuff around you. And, all. and they will not log out because if they log out, they will not have access yes. back to you. So once you do this, if it's on the system or anywhere, you are logged out. Mm. Have you ever had where you had to log in? And now you know that Instagram is linked with, with Facebook. So if you log in your Facebook somewhere else, the person can also access your Instagram with the login details of your Facebook. But the way the, uh, but the way technology is going now, even on some devices, most devices now, new devices, once you um, put in your Google uh, account, it logs mm. you into everything else. Exactly. It logs into your Facebook, Instagram, everything else like so. Um, so it kind of like scares me. Mm. So I, I really try not to activate that on my Google account. So I don't get that instance where I'm just, you know, logged in automatically on any device. Um, so yesterday I had to switch to this device, mm. um, which is the alternative one we have at home, just at in home. case anything goes wrong. And it asked me for that uh, uh, password. And I chose not to mm. because it will just be one extra device. Exactly. So until it is optimized, and I like optimization, I don't want to endeavor, I don't want to try anything out until mm. perhaps maybe a year or two. Uh, and I don't know if this is a good thing. You tell me, I normally do not update my phone security until after trials are done. Exactly. That is a very good thing. Now, this is what happens. I turn off auto update on my apps, on everything, including the OS of the phone, the operating system. I do. I would have to wait and ensure that I do that manually. 
Yeah. This one also affects your network. I find out that, oh, I bought two gig. Uh, it's, pay, pay, finished. It's, it's finished. It's <laughs> finished. Auto update is on. Now, there are some apps that to use some functions, they will update. But that does not, it's more, almost like a, 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 a little part of the app would update because they need that function to proceed. Mm -hmm. But then general updates, no. Turn them off. Make them manual. Especially when you hear better. Yeah. It's, it's a test. No, it's I a test. It's, it's a often test, always a test. Right? I'd have done. I'd have done WhatsApp to show you, but it's about it's about the same thing. There's also what's ah maybe you know who's, that one is a this thing. Oh, who's, Benny, no, 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 no. I'm Let's slide into his DM, <laughs> why don't we? <laughs> no, that was that was a broadcast, Masino. Thank you so much. Thank you very it was much. Good having you on this one and talking about uh, how you can protect your phone. Uh, you know when it comes to uh, oh, by the way. There are more gems on your phone than on your toilet seat. I'll talk about that some other Ooh, time. Oh, yeah. But let's head over to Winfrey. Winfrey is in the kitchen.